this is a Camtasia on the Pacha Object PG Screen Z Constraint Tool. So if we look here, we've got two different solves. We've got the head and the body. And they look good from here. They're two different objects in Equalizer. But here we can see that the heads in Screen Z is going forwards and backwards from the body. And so that doesn't look good. So we can use this tool right here. So it's going to take the body right here. And that's a child. And then here the head. So when we create and make Screen Z constraint, it's going to make a pivot point here that we can use. So now, so the screen X and screen Y are the same and the rotation is the same, but it's looking good from the side because now the screen Z is constrained. So now if we want to get it a little bit closer, we can go here. Let's go the other way. and get them connected. Now, all of this has a pivot point, so it makes a locator called Screen Z Pivot Locator, and that can be moved around. So if it's not in the middle of the neck, it's not going to solve it very well. So get it inside our center of mass right there. And so now that looks good. So you can also have a solve inside of Maya and then bring it in here know a hand track and then you can take another solve and uh, do a parent constraint for screen Z and attach it that way. So when you're all done you can delete the locator and it's ready to go. Now there's one more function. If you are here so we've got this box solve and it's looking nice. Now what we can also do is we only need a child, we don't need a parent, and there's only a box here. So we can move this forwards or backwards. And we can see it's picking bigger or smaller. And then if we want to freeze it, we can make it so there's no screen Z at all. We hit the freeze screen Z button, and then it becomes basically a flat solve. Now if we hit calc, it's going to go back to normal, but you can always use this tool even at this correct depth here, and you can flat it out and it looks good there.